Welcome to Specific Up. Today I'm going to show you how I built this heavy duty shoe rack to keep that pile of shoes off the floor. Let's begin. We have carpet through most of our house, so our shoes tend to pile up at the front door. And it was now time to tackle that mess. I was recently on the website buildsomething.com and spotted a good looking shoe rack, but it was a little too small for our needs. So I decided to build a bigger and better one for our front door. We tend to be a little rough with our furniture, so I wanted to build the frame with 2x4s. This will keep the build cost low, and if needed, easy to replace parts in the future. For the cross supports, I just ripped some more 2x4s in half to get 6 pieces. I then sanded everything down on my downdraft table that I made in a previous video. I will put a link to that project in the description. To keep this project simple and repairable in the future, I decided to use pocket holes to hold it together. For the bottom screws, I just used a drill, but securing the top was a little too narrow. So I grabbed a quarter inch socket and ratchet and hand tightened them together. With the side pieces complete, I carefully measured out the best locations for the cross supports trying to keep it practical and aesthetically pleasing as well. I then clamped the first three legs in place and secured them with screws. Then laying it on its side, I attached the other frame. Next, flipping the project over allowed me to quickly attach the remaining three supports. I love the look of the natural wood, but I also knew it would get nasty in a short time. So I used some carbon gray stain on the frame. Shortly after getting this stained, I brought my wife down to let her look at it. And she made a very good point. She said, could it be too wide where we run into it? So I got my son, we laid down another white sheet of paper, we carried it behind the fireplace, and well, it was a very valid point because even though it was the exact width of the fireplace, it would be easily run into. So I'm going to try to take about a foot and a half off the width of this, and we'll go from there. I then measured each of the supports and marked them at 18 inches shorter. The pocket screws made this easy to disassemble, trim with the miter saw, drill new holes, and reassemble making sure to put them back in the same locations. It was now time for the main platform sections. I cut down several 1x4x8 boards to the depth of each shelf using a stop block to make this repetitive task quick and easy. To secure each of these pieces to the cross support, I again decided to use pocket screws. For the stain, I decided to use traditional cherry because the clay dirt in our area is a dark red color. And as I started the staining process, I was very well impressed with how well it looked on these simple pine boards. After giving the stain some time to dry, I flipped the frame over and marked the center board on each rail. By putting the center board in first, allowed the rest of the pieces to be quickly installed without concern of the total width being offset. I followed this process for the other two sections, making sure each was secured by the screws. After the frame and shelves fully dried, my son again helped me carry it into position. The colors work great with the color of our fireplace, and the width should allow us to pass by without concern. So I grabbed our shoes for a test fit, and it looked awesome. They were up and off the floor, and still had easy access. Now if you enjoyed this project, make sure you click the like button, tell us what you think about it in the comments, and as always, have fun building!